Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is a special request from our patron, Jeanette, over on Patreon. Thank you so much, Jeanette, for requesting this and for supporting us there on Patreon. If you guys want to request special React videos or lesson videos, or you just want to support us in another way, please check out our Patreon. We'd love to have you join us over there. So today we will be reacting to Mora Set's Could You Be Messiah? Uh, many of you know we have reacted to more set a couple times now. Yes. Looking forward to seeing what this one has in store. Yes, this is a newer performance from her, and it is not live, so we already know that going into it. Um, and so I, think I won't talk about the microphone. We're not going to talk about the microphone or the recording kind of you know styles. Yes. It looks like it was originally performed, produced, written, and everything by um, Gary Valenciano. We're very excited, so let's get started. Could you be healer to a heart that's been wounded in a battle that's never seen? Could you be teacher to a mind of confusion? Tell me what does this only Of a feeling imprisoned in chains Can you set my spirit free? And just one more question Allow me this question Could you be Messiah to me? Could you be Wow. What do you what do you have? Well, I what do you really have? like the use of breath here. Yeah. So I'm gonna back it up. But what I what I mean is when she's singing really softly, she easily kind of puts on the gas in terms of breath, adds just adds more air mm -hmm. and it seamlessly flows into a more full sound. Going yeah. from going from kind of the whisper talking into that full sound can mm -hmm. sometimes be hard for Absolutely. some people. And you have to have a lot of really consistent air to start sending it through yeah. to automatically break into that full sound. Well, it's so, a very dynamic um sound yeah. and, and like what she's doing is really interesting to mm -hmm. listen to could you be teacher could you be teacher to Not a mature. mind of confusion tell me what does this only are you deliverer she went straight into the are you deliverer yeah. With with a really good consistent airflow from not using a lot of air. Yeah. Can you set my spirit free? Oh, this is the key. And just one more question. <laughs> Which is tough by itself. Allow me this question. Could you be Messiah to me? Could you be Messiah to me? I think that's actually a really good exercise. Yeah, Try this at home. Crazy. Try this on your own, singing quietly, but also with consistent airflow. Right. You're gonna have to use a lot more air than you think you do yeah. because when you're when you're quiet singing, when you're really soft, it's yeah. not a lot. When I be Messiah. To me, it doesn't it's mean a less energy. Lot of air. Yeah. And especially those sustained right. notes. Yeah. Sustaining at a low volume. You think it's like, you know, you're using less air, but you actually should probably be using more, more. than you think. I want to talk about her like diction and enunciation. Mm. I feel like I've, you guys have talked about how so many people comment on that. Um, and I feel like specifically in this song, I really hear how she enunciates so well, which seems like a theater background. Like it mm. feels like this really reminds me of like Disney, like classic yeah. Disney. Oh, you sure. You know, kind of like Snow White, um, 
Mary Poppins ish. Yeah. It's like where where they're known for articulating. Yeah. Um, because you want to hear it, and it's a very the classic sound. A, well, yeah. the song is a story as right. well as a song, right? Right. But I I definitely hear like a more classic sound of her today, and I don't mean like operatic classic. Yeah. I just mean it's a very classically beautiful sound. Super yeah. articulate. Really I for, articulate. I forget that English isn't her first language when I listen right, to things like this right. like I just hear it and I'm like oh yeah but then I'm like oh but wait it, it, yeah. yeah and maybe it is like her like second language but she's probably been speaking it for a long time you know I just it just sounds it just really sounds good really it sounds good. really, good. really yeah. good it sounds supernatural for sure um, supernatural supernatural <laughs> like the messiah right just like it they're not in the apartment they're in a Could studio you be father to a soul that's been abandoned by a world too busy to hear. I wanted to watch, listen to that vowel. Sorry. I want to do abandoned. Can you go back to abandoned? Yeah. Right Could you be father to a soul that's been abandoned by a Do you remember what you're going to yeah, talk about? Yeah. Okay. I... What she just did there is something that a lot of people forget that I've been trying to talk to a lot of different uh, students about. Abandoned. Abandoned. Mm. You you stay on the vowel. She stays on the vowel yeah. until she clips it with the ND. The Abandoned. Yep. And that's at the very end. And you don't really know. It's not something you would notice, but right. you'll notice if I sing Abandoned. Right? I'm going to cut it off early. Yeah. So hop from vowel to vowel. The consonants only break up the vowel. But if you right. stay on the vowel, just like what she did, yeah. it's really just a smoother, it's like, a, it's a tiny little change that makes a big difference. Big difference. We talked about that in the last video, how oh, yeah. it makes the difference from being good to being great. That coupled with energy to the end of the phrase, an end of that word, which is mm -hmm. what she did, makes it just really like elegant you mm -hmm. know it's just a really clean clean sound yeah, yeah. Um, let's listen to it again and then we'll move on to that part that to a soul that's been abandoned by a world too busy to hear. I just liked that e that's been abandoned by a world too busy flat <laughs> nail it busy it's just a beautiful like that e, e. busy it's not it's classic e. too it's not e. mm -hmm. it's not it's not swallowed it's e. but she also easy. does it's some, clear it's she forward also, she also does something with it where she really like allows her vibrato to appear mm. um which is why it reminds me of a very like musical theater theatrical sure. style because they're they're kind of known for doing straight tone and then you bring in that vibrato now this is a really short period of time yeah. but it's it, you kind of hear that um and she's done that a bit in other yeah. all that's been abandoned by a world too busy to hear. beautiful yeah could you be friend head voice to a helpless can you take away my fears? Can we just talk about how different that sounds? Like, from what we just came from. Busy, could you be friend? Mm. And she switches to this really light head voice, allows some Whispery. air to escape. It's a whisper. Yeah. It's just a very different sound contrasting. And that it's just a really dynamic choice. Yeah, it's, it's super dynamic. And yeah. that's, you know, dynamics if you don't if you don't know when we say something is dynamic, we mean that you're using volume mm -hmm. as an effect, right. right? You're using singing quietly or singing loudly to help communicate what you're what you're singing about. And that's right. another one of those things that takes a good performance to a great right. performance. But I would say even further dynamics also to me mean like you're maybe changing the placement of where you put sure. something like How doesn't you have to it just it be the volume exactly yeah. but it's just it creates you know um there's a difference between you're yeah. not doing it stagnant the no, whole you're, time you're absolutely you know? right. it isn't just volume right it isn't just volume it's uh it's like intensity it is it can yeah. be intensity absolutely take away my fears i heard them all 
That was very musical theater. Oh my like gosh. The style of this piece is definitely a musical theater. That's what I was going to say. Style, but like, because it's going be, all over the place. It could be in a Disney movie. Absolutely. It could be it in could a be in show. A musical theater for show. Maybe it's from, Absolutely. it says from First Name Anew. So okay. we could be just the ones that don't know tell us that it is that from is. a musical. And we appreciate I'm so sorry. your information. Please don't call us stupid right, because exactly. we don't know the things that you know. Right. Yeah. What I did notice mm-hmm. were once again vowels yeah. right so in all every all mm. was pretty much the same yeah it was pretty much the same through that whole thing i think that this is the first time i've heard her sound like this at least from listening so she sounds very mature now she's obviously older than when she recorded a keen kind yeah. or what was the other one we just reacted to um, um I don't know, but the wish bus performances. Mm-hmm. So the wish bus performances, she was much, yeah. Like but but I even wrote this in one of the comments. As females, our voices change drastically in our twenties, drastically. Mm-hmm. And from when you're 21, 22 to when you're 26 or 27, your voice is going to be very different, and it's going to settle to what it would be for the majority of your life or career mm-hmm. or singing. You know life and world and I think that I can hear that happening to her now we haven't heard her sing musical theater before Mm -hmm. we've only ever heard her sing pop music really right yeah really we haven't reacted to we haven't heard her sing Defying Gravity or anything like that I mean I feel like Akeen Kanilang and some of the other ones that we've seen are big ballads right and I think that that you know, Is style of song similar, fits nicely right, with, with musical theater. theater yes. Um, but I do hear, like, to me, this is a very mature, classic um, full sound. Full voice. Full yeah. voice sound, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very different in, in contrast to what you've he- heard in Driver's License. It yeah. was a different sound. Sure. And a lot of you guys have told us that that was a stylistic choice, which I believe you. I mean, yeah. when you're an artist, you make choices to convey emotion and to Absolutely. do different things. But this is a really interesting thing to hear from her. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's all just very well supported. She's Absolutely. not like going nuts and going and pushing right. crazy hard. It's just a well sung piece of music right right are you forgiven of my most unknown secrets provider of all that i need you can understand every Could you word be brother, the one who knows better would you now stand in the feet When all this is over, all the thunder and lightning in the daylight, just what will I see? There's like four or five key changes in this song. Yeah. And that's pretty amazing. Could you be Messiah to me? Could you be Messiah to me? Could you be Messiah? Please be. Not a key change, but a, 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 a
Um, I just want to talk about her S's. Messiah, be so that S, it's like a whistle yeah. S. And I've heard it a few times. Yeah, I think yeah. it's because it's it's hard to have a soft S, right? You just like, did it. There's one, well, I, I, I do it by accident. Yeah, I know. Sometimes. I think she might be doing it by accident. I don't think so. You think she's doing it on purpose? She does I, it differently. Well, I'm not, she... I don't think she's trying to whistle on That's purpose. That's what I'm saying. No. Yes, it's an accident. I don't think she's trying to whistle on purpose. <laughs> but I do think she's trying to have a nice, soft S. Yes. Because S is... <laughs> you just did it again. I don't think I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. I hear it. You know I what? can't wait to hear it. I'm not doing it. I'm not it. doing what? it. You know I don't what? Even, Whatever. You know what? It was on purpose. That's so funny. And I always do everything. It was every exact thing I do is I exactly so S's. perfectly on purpose. Huh. I think it's really hard. S's are one of those things that just cut through and you have this nice, beautiful, soft moment. You right. Go, Will you please speak? Right. You know, and it's like, whoa. Yeah. You have to, you have to take some of the edge off of it. And yeah. so softening that can be kind of tricky. Yeah. And so, yeah. yeah, sometimes I think you get whistles. Sometimes you whistle. Pretty well, good. that was really awesome. Yeah. I really loved that performance from her because I think that so far, and I said this last time we reacted that that was my favorite recording of her. Mm -hmm. And I think that is live because I definitely prefer live recordings of singers, just every singer. You think what was live? The last Wish Bus one that we did oh, was yeah, yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was my favorite of her so far that we had heard live. This is, I think, my favorite style of her using her voice. Oh, musically? Yeah, I just think that this is the most full I've heard. Obviously, she's not doing like whistle tone in this. and yeah. um, But there's it's just really the place, yeah. beautifully powerful moments to me mm -hmm. in this type of singing. And I think for her voice specifically. And I think it just, it sits, the range of it sits in such a meaty yes, part yes. of her, her voice. Like yep. none of this was crazy high or crazy low for her. Right. And she just sang it really, really well. Really well. And I, you know, I think you're right. This is a great piece for, like for, for her, her voice. So we hoped you liked that video. If you would like to talk about this even more with us, we are going live on Mondays at 6 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. That's yep. 6 a.m. MDT. And you can come and talk to us about this performance yes. or another performance or just ask us questions about singing. Absolutely. Or really anything. We would love to interact with you guys and we're going to start doing that starting on Monday at 6 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Grab a cup of coffee come join us and maybe if it's nighttime for you yeah you know just come join us and yeah. check in hang we'd out love to see you guys and hang out with you there so if you like this video please give it a like and if you're new here please consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell to see when we upload new videos like this every week thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time hey!